I am Nicole Everett, and this is Conversations with Nicole at, at Nefertari's today, Nefertari's Fine Cuisine. And today I have with me a very special guest, Miss Dot Inman Johnson. I know, have known Dot since she was at the Capital Area Community Action Agency, and we work together on housing issues and just community issues in general. So Dot, welcome. Thank you. So tell me, what have you been up to since you left the agency? I know you've been writing some and you have a few books that you've kind of brought with you today to talk about. So tell me a little bit about those books. Well, I am very excited about them. The first mm -hmm. one is Poverty, Politics, and Race in America, mm -hmm. which gives a perspective that's different from any you'll see in any of the books in common circulation. Okay. from the perspective of a black woman over the last six decades in this country mm -hmm. on those issues, issues of poverty, mm -hmm. the myths around them, the issues of race, mm -hmm. and how politics intersect with all of that. Okay. Wow. Sounds interesting. So um, this book you did when, the, the race and politics one? That was done the end of 2012 okay. and released in 2013. Okay. And uh, I'm originally from Birmingham, mm -hmm. so that was the first city mm. that I went to mm -hmm. on a book tour, which mm -hmm. was quite successful. Okay. And uh, there are only two chapters in the book mm -hmm. that deal with my direct experiences with these issues okay. and that's the first chapter of the book okay. growing up poor mm -hmm. in Birmingham mm -hmm. and the fifth chapter uh, lessons from the past okay. and, or perspectives from the past on my civil rights experience okay. doing the 60s as a teen mm -hmm. so uh, that is a those are first-hand okay. accounts so of some of the things that were going so on. So is that what inspired you to, to write the book? Well, actually what inspired me to write the book, and mm -hmm. I was walking around with pieces of this book in my head mm -hmm. for uh, the last three years okay. of my work at Capital Area Community mm -hmm. Action Agency, mm -hmm. which you know, mm -hmm. is a group that works on behalf of the poor. Oh, okay. And uh, I was concerned about the kind of stereotypes that were being mm. put out about the poor, mm -hmm. especially by one party in this country. Okay. And I felt somebody had to be their voice and speak up. So that was really the inspiration. Got it. And then when President Obama was elected mm -hmm. and this overt racial hatred mm -hmm. popped mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was another issue that I had to address okay. and that's part of the issue of race that's covered in the book from mm -hmm. his election the first time through the 2012 mm -hmm. re-election. Wow, okay, excellent, excellent. Well good, I'm glad that you've put um, this together for us to, you know, read and, and, and feast on, if you will, and, and hopefully have some conversation and some dialogue as it relates to that, you know, I, in our communities across the country. Yes, mm -hmm. I think the best uh, times I've had was when I spoke at book clubs, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. where uh, we could really get into some back and forth mm -hmm. interaction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about uh, the book. Excellent, excellent. Well, tell me about the new book. The new book mm -hmm. is uh, Lessons from America's Best and Worst Cities. Okay. And my inspiration for that book was almost two years mm -hmm. when I came out of retirement mm -hmm. to try to help a small city mm -hmm. just west of Tallahassee mm -hmm. that was in terrible trouble mm -hmm. and thought I would go out and offer my services mm -hmm. and they asked me to be interim city manager mm -hmm. to try to help them mm -hmm. and it just was such a hard pull wow. because the people who had been in control really didn't want anything to change so 
it was like fighting people mm -hmm. who were supposed to be part of the team to straighten this out, mm -hmm. to get things done and get the city turned around. Okay. So uh, that lasted for about 20 months, mm -hmm. and I decided that I would write another book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And hopefully there are other cities that mm -hmm. can benefit from uh, the lessons from cities that have managed to be on the best cities, mm -hmm. most livable cities list every year mm -hmm. or most years, okay. and those that have ended up on the worst or least livable or most dangerous mm. cities list. There are lessons to be learned from both, right. and uh, I hope people will take advantage to mm -hmm learn from their peer cities mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about how, how all of this works out. Excellent. Well, we're here in the city of Tallahassee. So what brought you to Tallahassee and what keeps you in Tallahassee? Well, I've been in Tallahassee for a long time. What okay. brought me here mm -hmm. was my first husband. Okay. Uh, he came here to go back to school at mm -hmm. Florida A&M University okay. and complete his degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, he left. I stayed okay. and made this my adopted home. Okay. And I am very excited I did. And as a matter of fact, I dedicated a whole chapter in this book to mm -hmm. Tallahassee okay. as uh, my adopted home. Okay. It's not the home of my birth, mm -hmm. but it's even better because it's the one I chose. You chose, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So, so, um, this is your first time at Nefertari, it's your first dining experience, so let's talk food a little bit. Yes. So, what's your favorite food? That's hard because I love eating. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it, it's hard to pick a favorite food, mm -hmm. uh, but my favorite foods are probably those that aren't good for me. Okay, like? I love blueberry pie. Okay. Cobbler. Right. Uh -huh, blueberry I love pie cobblers, uh -huh. any kind of cobbler. Uh -huh. Okay. And pound cake, and uh -huh. I love barbecue. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, since I'm a southern cook, mm -hmm. I cook a lot of home, down-home cooking. cooking. That's comfortable. So, huh? And my husband is a country boy uh -huh. from Waycross, Georgia. Oh, okay. So he loves my cooking. Okay, good. So I'm cooking those collard greens, uh -huh. those turnips, okay. those mustards, okay. the cabbage. Okay. And, Good the deal. baked and fried chickens good and deal. the candied yams and all of those good things all the time. Excellent. And one of uh, my family's favorite uh -huh. is my mac and cheese. Really? Mm. Now why is your mac and cheese so special? It's special because I make it. All right, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good deal. <laughs> no, I have a few special things that, that I throw good. into okay. the mix. All right. Good deal, good deal. So tell me about some of the best advice that you've ever received or given. I think the best advice I've ever received mm -hmm. is probably to be myself. Okay. To be myself, That's not good. to be cowed. Mm -hmm to know who I am mm -hmm. and go for it. Mm -hmm. okay. And the best advice I've probably given, and I've given it a lot, mm -hmm. I have a little mentee right now mm -hmm. who's going through a rough patch, mm -hmm. who lets other people dictate to her mm -hmm. how she behaves mm -hmm. and pushes her buttons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I've had to counsel her mm -hmm. regularly mm -hmm. that you have control over no one mm -hmm. except yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you have to put out of your mind mm -hmm. what other people think mm -hmm and know who you are mm -hmm. and demonstrate who you are mm -hmm. and how much better you are by the way you carry yourself mm -hmm. and you 
deal with your life. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what they are saying. Right. So be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great advice. Good deal. So if you could describe your life as a spice, what would it be? Mm. I think it would be a little sugar and pepper. Sugar and pepper, okay. Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> because people, when they, <clears throat> when they meet me, mm -hmm. they kind of think I'm this sweet, easy, go in person. Uh -huh. You are. <laughs> <laughs> and I generally am, uh -huh. but uh -huh. there's a lot of fight in uh -huh. there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fight in there. I've witnessed that for myself. <laughs> not not, toward not towards you. me, no, but I have witnessed it. So. Okay, very good, very good. Well, thank you so much. Thank yes. you, Nicole. You're welcome. Well, oh, it looks like our food is here. So we Yummy. are going to have to end our conversation with Nicole for today, but we'll see you next time. And thank you for joining us. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, that does that, look that good. That rice with the shrimp. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Enjoy. Thank you.